Good evening and welcome to worship this evening. Tonight, as we worship together through prayer and praise, I invite you to consider and meditate on the persons of the Trinity. Our God, three in one, creator, sustainer, and comforter. Our God, who comes to us in so many different ways through personal relationship, through transcendent intimates, through love, and through relationship. Our God demonstrates to us how to be in community with one another through covenant relationship that God has within the Trinity. We celebrate that tonight as we come to pray. Will you pray with me and enter into this time of meditation? In Jesus Christ, we give thanks to God. In Jesus Christ, we give thanks through the Holy Spirit. When we call upon you, O God, you come quickly to us. Give ear to our voice when we call to you. Let our prayers be counted as incense before you and the lifting up of our hands as an evening sacrifice. Together, let us sing Spirit of the Living God. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Melt me, mold me, fill me, use me, Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Will you pray with me this prayer of illumination? Holy Trinity, we honor this and every day the majesty and mystery of who you are. You are all infinite and intimate, known and unknowable, transcendent and transparent. In love, you made us and all creation as your own, and in love, you invite us to join in your divine dance. May we find our rest in you. Blessed Trinity, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our scripture reading tonight comes from Psalm chapter 104, verse 24 through 34. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creation. Yonder is the sea, great and wide, creeping things. Innumerable are there, living things, both small and great. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. And when you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take their breath, they die and return to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord's rejoice in your works. You who look on the earth and it trembles, you who touch the mountains and they smoke, I will sing to you, O Lord, 
as long as I live, I will sing my praise to God while I have been. May my meditations be pleasing to you, for it's in you, O Lord, I rejoice. This is the word of God for us, the people of God, and we give thanks to God. In recent days, in the past week and a half, many things have transpired that have been difficult and harsh. Many things have transpired that have been hopeful and loud. Many things have transpired that I don't necessarily have words to put into being, to say anything about. My words are few and far between and um, seem very inadequate at this time. But something that has come forth is um, a word from our bishop. And I read this letter to you that I'll be sending out later this evening from Bishop Hope Morgan Ward. As Bishop of the North Carolina Conference, I invite you to affirm this summons to witness, protest, and promise. We offer this opportunity realizing that if we were at annual conference in Greenville, a resolution will be offered in the wake of recent violence against our black brothers and sisters. This summons is an opportunity to publicly state your desire to build a new world God promises as heaven in time descends to earth, as displayed in Revelation 21. With, great, with gratitude for the life we share in Christ, Bishop Hope Morgan Ward. These are the words of that affirmation that I share with you this evening. I feel like it is an affirmation of our faith. It's an affirmation of all we hold dear. And it's an affirmation of the scriptures is an affirmation of who God is and who we are as God, God's creation. And it's a call to action, a call to understand that there is no peace when there is no justice. And a call to live our baptismal covenant to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms They present themselves. So I read to you this affirmation. We, United Methodists in the North Carolina Conference, join our voices in witness, protest, and promise in these times of violence against our Black brothers and sisters. We believe that the Holy Spirit is indeed poured out upon all people. We believe that in baptism we are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and commissioned to resist evil and oppression and injustice in whatever forms they may present themselves. We believe that God's intent for humanity is community, compassion, and holiness, and that justice has been marred by the history of enslavement and racism. We believe that repentance is urgent for the historic and ongoing violence against black girls and boys, men and women. We believe that in the wounding of black bodies, we see Christ crucified. We believe that those who have been steeped in white privilege through repentance can be transformed into humble servants of the living God. We believe we are called to work for the day when God's will is done on earth as it is in heaven. We protest violent murders of black men and women, most recently Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd. We protest the narratives of fear and suspicion that divide people from one another. We protest our historic failure to ensure all churches are places of hospitality, welcome and belonging for our black brothers and sisters. We protest the historic and continuing suppression of voting and other basic rights. We protest all incendiary public leadership in this time of crisis and turmoil. 
We protest the lack of will in our community, our state, and our country to protect the lives of our Black brothers and sisters, and especially the most vulnerable, the young and the old. We promise to use our voice, resources, and power to dismantle white privilege and racist systems, especially within our own United Methodist Church. We promise to read the scripture with ears and eyes attentive to the continued call towards God's will for all people. We promise to exercise the right to vote and to work against voter suppression. We promise to create around ourselves at all times hospitable spaces for all people. We promise to name prejudice when we see it and to receive the correction of others who see prejudice in us. We promise to be lifelong learners, to constantly make adjustments in the way we use our power and influence, to be active participants in the building of the beloved community, and ultimately growing always in holiness toward the perfection we see in Christ. This we witness, we protest, and we promise. As we come now to a time of prayer, I invite you to call on Jesus' name to hear us as we pray. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. Oh Lord, hear my prayer. When I call, Answer me, O Lord, hear my prayer, O Lord, hear my prayer, come and listen to me. O Lord, hear my prayer, O Lord, hear my prayer, when I call. Answer me, O Lord, hear my prayer, O Lord, hear my prayer, come and listen to me. By faith in Jesus Christ, we are given access to the grace of God. Standing in that grace, we now confess our sins before God, seeking forgiveness and peace. O Lord, our God, within your own life, there is mutuality, equality, unity, and diversity. Though we are made in your image, we confess that we distort the triune life. Instead of seeking mutual welfare and the common good, we seek our own gain. Instead of living in equality, justice, and respect, we construct systems that are unjust. We, divide, we devise ways to elevate ourselves over others. And disrespectful thoughts, words, and actions still surface in us. We allow differences to divide us and lead to brokenness. Holy God, forgive us. Restore in us and in our life together the divine image you intend. Make us tender in mutuality. Make us generous in equality. Make us grateful in diversity. We pray to be one with you and one another through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, we are still standing in the grace of Christ because of God's love that has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. We are set free to love God and neighbor and to work for the reconciliation of the world. We have peace with God through the Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen. There are many prayer requests in our 
community, many needs that have been lifted up. We spay, we pray especially for Kelly's Kelly James' mom who is recovering from hip replacement. We pray for all the requests that have been lifted up for Teresa's daughter, um, for others who have been on our prayer list for days, weeks, and months. And we give thanks to God for the joys that have been lifted up in our community, for birthdays, for celebrations of graduations, and for, for special events that have been happening in each family represented here at Mount Terza. And as we go to God in prayer, we pray, God, in your wisdom, hear our prayers. Holy God, you are more than we can know or name. Yet we call on you again and again, for you alone are God. We cannot live apart from you, for you have called us into your triune life. Your steadfast love surrounds us all our days, wherever we might be, on a high mountain or on a path in a shadowed valley, at a crossroads on a journey or outside the gates of welcome or in some inner circle. You call us, delighting in all your creation. We come before you in thanksgiving for all the gifts you have given that delight us so for the beauty of this season, for the lives of those who bless us beyond their knowing, for this community of faith by which we are nurtured and challenged, for opportunities to serve you by serving others, for goals accomplished, and for the gift of life granted yet again today. We come before you humbly and hopeful in need, for those we know who are suffering today because of illness in mind, body, or spirit. For those trying to make a difficult decision. For those grieving a loss, an ending, a dream deferred. We pray for healing and strength in every broken place of our lives. We long for the hope you alone can give. Hope that does not disappoint us, but rolls away stones of death and despair. We pray for those whose livelihood is precarious. For those who live at the edge of poverty's precipice. And for those who live in temporary shelter and tenuous provision. In the public square and in the privacy of our conscience, Help us find the will and the way toward a common good. We come before you earnestly and urgently for this world in turmoil, for the chaos loose in, natural, in the natural world, droughts and floods, earthquakes and tornadoes, pandemics and protests. Heal the earth and all creation, we pray. May those who are starving, thirsty, or left in destruction's debris be restored. We pray for the turmoil we cause through war and violence, hatred and prejudice, by our indifference and by our calculation. Bring an end to our warring ways until civilians and soldiers live in safety and peace. Root out of our hearts the seeds of bigotry and narrow-mindedness. Stir us from apathy. Increase in us empathy, that we may love as you love. Trying God, we have done so much to disrupt, disengage, and even destroy what you have created and called good. Still, you are determined to delight in the human race. So make us full of delight. Help us to delight in you by living and playing in ways that please you. 
Help us to delight in neighbors near and far by living and playing in ways that restore true communion. Make us delightful all our days until we greet with joy the kingdom you are bringing. In Christ Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, we pray and ask these things. Amen. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And now we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In the Lord I'll be ever thankful, in the Lord I will rejoice. Look to God, do not be afraid, lift up your voice, the Lord is near. Lift up your voice, the Lord is near. As we close our time together, I would like to sing with you, Nearer My God to Thee. Nearer my God to Thee, nearer to Thee. Even though it be the cross that raiseth me. Still all my song shall be nearer my God to thee. Nearer my God to thee. Nearer to thee. Though like the wanderer the sun goes down, darkness be over me, my rest a strong. Yet in my dreams I'd be nearer, my God, to Thee. Nearer, my God, to Thee. Nearer to Thee. There let the way appear steps unto him. All that you send me in mercy give. Angel 
those to back and me nearer my God to thee nearer my God to thee nearer to thee then with my waking thoughts bright with your praise out of my stony grief Bethel I'll raise so by my woes to be nearer my God to thee, nearer my God to thee, nearer to thee. Or if on joyful wing cleaving the sky, sun, moon, and stars forget, upward I fly. Still all my song shall be nearer, my God to Thee, nearer, my God to Thee, nearer to Thee. As we dismiss this evening, I give thanks to God for our time together every week. I give thanks to God that I am your pastor and that you are my friends in ministry and in life. I give thanks to God that even when I don't have the words to speak, Jesus, our high priest, intervenes and the Holy Spirit comes and falls fresh. I give thanks to God that this evening you and I have been in God's presence and we have together felt God calling us to a new place, a new heaven and a new earth where there are no more tears, where there is no more fighting, no more war, where the lions lay down with the lambs. And where justice flows like streams of mercy. God, let it be. Let it be. And now receive this benediction. May the grace of Christ Jesus grant you peace this evening. May the Holy Spirit guide you in all truth. And may the love of our God fill your heart so that you may find hope in every circumstance of this life. And give God glory and praise every step of the way. Amen. Till next time.